Greetings, my brothers and sisters. My name is Benoit Sherry. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Tonight, I will be discussing the greatest revolt for freedom and also the emperor and the people that contributed to the revolution. Slavery has long existed in human society, but however, the transatlantic slave trade caused destructive and inhumane conditions that affected all Africans that can trace their bloodline back to Africa to this day. Haiti is a country located on the island of Hispaniola and the Greater Antilles to the east of Cuba and Jamaica and south of the Bahamas. It's located in the west and it occupies three eighths of the island which it shares with the Dominican Republic. To its southwest lies the small island of Navassa Island is 27,750 square feet kilometers, 10,714 square millimeters in size and it has an estimated population of 11.1 million people. The island was originally inhabited by the indigenous Tino people. The first European arrived on December 5, 1492, the first forage by Christopher Columbus. It was the first settlement by the Europeans in the Americas. The island was claimed by Spain but French came and took the north part of the island and called it Saint Domaine. The French established a lucrative sugarcane plantations which worked by a vast numbers of slaves brought from Africa which made the colony one of the richest in the world. The indigenous Tianos were decimated from forced labor, disease, and war. The Spanish, under the advisement of the Catholic priest Bartolomeu de las Casas, and with the blessing of the Catholic Church, started kidnapping, forced labor, and rape of enslaved Africans. During the French colonial period beginning in 1625, the economy of IET, back then known as Saint Domaine, was based on slavery. The way the enslaved Africans were treated and regarded as the most brutal in the world. Saint Domaine was based on export of slave grown crops, particularly sugarcane. Saint Domaine would become known as the Pearl of the Antilles. It produced coffee and sugar. 
both the French and Spanish imported slaves from Africa. In 1681, there were 2,000 enslaved Africans. By 1789, there were over half a million. The French controlled the western part of the island through the Treaty of Wiswick. The French held a caste system which covered both whites and colored people. These castes divided up roles on the island and established a hierarchy. The whites controlled all the resources in St. Domain. The lower class whites controlled the militia and the mulattoes were the offsprings of the slave masters and the slaves. In overthrowing me, you have done no more than cut down the tree trunk of the Black Liberty in St. Domain. It will spring back from the roots, for they are numerous and deep. Toussaint Louverture was a Haitian general and best known leader of the Haitian Revolution. He was a leader of the Groman resistance. Francois Makanda was a Haitian Maroon leader in Haiti. He was sometimes described as a Haitian voodoo priest or Ougan. Dirty Bookman was an early leader of the Haitian Revolution. Born in Senegambia, he was captured, enslaved, and transformed to Jamaica. He eventually ended up in Haiti, where he became a leader of the Maroons and a voodoo Ouga priest. Cecil Fatim was a Haitian voodoo priestess, a mambo and voodoo. She is famous for her participation in the voodoo ceremony at the Bois Kim, which is considered to be one of the starting points of the Haitian Revolution. Emperor Jean-Jacques de Salines, his major significance in the history of the world is that he was the leader of the rebellion. 
after Louverture was captured when it succeeded in overthrowing the French and he was the first ruler of an independent Aichi, eventually proclaiming himself emperor. Emperor Jean-Jacques de Salines was a Haitian nationalist and the first ruler of a free Haiti. Although he was a courageous military leader during the War of Independence, he fell administrator and a statesman. The Haitian Revolution has often been described as the largest and most successful slave rebellion in the Western Hemisphere. Slaves in initiated the rebellion in 1791 and by 1804 they had succeeded in ending not just slavery but French control over the colony.
Haiti was the first and the only successful slave revolt in the history of the world. However, the Haitian Revolution would lead to the doubling of the size of the United States. It was Napoleon's loss to IET that convinced the dictator to sell the Louisiana territory to the United States. Brothers and sisters, thank you very much for tuning in. Until next time, my name is Benoit Sherry. Peace out.